Hey guys, welcome to another beautiful tutorial and this is Creative Venus and look at this beautiful awesome infographic design. It's white, it's bright. So before moving further, let's watch this. If you want to rip DVDs to MP4, H.264 and other video files in only 5 minutes, then check out Venus DVD Ripper Platina. It is easy and fast, all thanks to its advanced GPU acceleration technology. You can use it to copy your DVD to ISO image file with intact tracks. Rip the DVDs to hard drive and USB and do not worry about disk scratches and loss. Simply enjoy watching movies on your TV, iPad, iPhone and Android devices. You can also enter Vinex DVD contest page to get a free license code and get a chance to win an iPhone XS and Netflix gift card. For more information, refer to the video description. So I've created this new graphic so that you can subscribe to my channel, join the membership and hit like and share. So please subscribe to my channel and join the membership if you can and share your love and support. So coming back to our tutorial, let's start with the basics first and that is to insert a circle. So as we have seen in the beginning of this video, that it has five circles so we have changed its you know orientation and using the 3d rotation option and now it looks like this so currently i don't think blue color is nice so i have changed it to white you can play with these options here like material lighting so do not copy what i'm doing here it would be great if you can try these options the more you will try these options the more you will learn what kind of lighting and material you need in your shapes so i have filled now gradient color so plain white uh, is not looking that good as compared to gradient white so here you can see i'm still experimenting with the material until i get the desired result so there is no set rule that you have to follow this and that then only can you can achieve the desired result you just need to try so i think it looks better now now we need to insert another thing here we need to create a shadow effect here this time we are using this shape drawing feature like this so you can find this shape inside the shape menu where you can click on this shape and you can draw any custom shape remove its outline and you need to fill the gradient color here and the gradient should be black and what we will do is towards the left we will keep it you know dark and towards the right we will increase the transparency so that it will blend with the background and it will create a very nice shadow effect so now isn't it looking nice it's looking really really i mean awesome at the moment it's really bright and this one is more suitable for those brands or those presentations where you're using bright color scheme where things are bright where the colors are vibrant so on those slides it will look much better as compared to other slides so now we just have to leverage this shape five times so that's the beauty of a good design where you can reuse the shapes and components so we just have we just have to copy it so we will place four more like this and your infographic is done you just have to add text after that so let's insert um, some text but before that let's do something more here i've inserted this hollow circle So now what we're gonna do is we have reduced its width, remove its outline, and let's change 
its orientation and angle using the 3d rotation option and now it looks like this so we have placed it over the shape that we have designed now we will apply some vibrant gradient colors here so i hope till now everything is clear and it's not that difficult at the moment we just have designed one circle changed its you know rotation we have made it look like 3d and then we've applied gradient color applied shadow then designed a custom shadow effect and that's it we are now just duplicating these shapes and we have added one hollow circle on these small circles these types of infographics look really cool when you design it and presenting the text in the text format looks kind of old school whereas you can use this these infographics to present your text so you can also convert it into four points infographic three points infographic two points infographic or you can increase the number of circles up to six seven or even eight that depends upon the size of this uh, slide Now we will change the color on each circle to make it look more vibrant. So we have placed orange here. Let's add some nice color here. I will also recommend to have a look at the color theory, color schemes, color palettes online, get some knowledge about colors, how colors I mean what's the purpose of color you just can't use any color here and there there are some hidden facts about colors what kind of color you have to use for what kind of brand what type of brand every color has some significance in terms of hitting the subconscious mind of the user who see that color on your brand or images or your diagrams so you should always always take care of these things so i have placed one hollow circle on this main circle as well and we have kept it white so now you know 90 percent of the work is done you just have to place text and that you know you are the master of it. And try to use different fonts. You know, go to Google Fonts and it's a great, great, great repository of fonts. You can try any font there, write your text, you can change the font size. And I would prefer try fonts like railway then there is roboto then there is monster that then you can also try even more font which i don't remember at the moment which i generally use lato l a t o so these fonts are very nice i know most of you are using arial and calibri since ages but those are the default fonts but the world has moved ahead and today is the i mean today is the time where videos are popular and so are the text styling and using different fonts and designer fonts can help your information look really really nice so let's use some icons here and always try to use icons in your presentations if you don't find any graphic using icons so icons are great fillers and icons always look good on any design so 
so i am placing the icons now and and what more you can do is while placing the icons is focus on alignment make sure every icon is aligned to center in respect to the component on it on which it has been placed so it should be well aligned alignment makes any slide look good no matter what what the information is present there but if any information if it is not designed well but it is well aligned trust me it will look really nice and much better so alignment should be your first priority if you take care of these few things like alignment text styling use of color placement and spacing spacing between the items then your presentation will look good you don't have to be a world class designer to design any presentation i'm not a designer i don't know adobe photoshop or illustrator or anything so for presentations you just need to understand how it functions that's it it's all about presenting the information in a nice manner where user can really understand and you know take key decisions and content is also a very important part i have seen presentation slides where people write content which is of no use and and time has changed now and user attention span is very less people spend less time on reading the content so whatever you write make sure it is spot on to the point short crisp and it should be very intuitive kind of content it should create curiosity among the reader so that's how you can make your slides look good and you should al always try to improve your slide deck there are no set rules that your title should come at the top only on the left side it could be at the center it could be at the right logo sh i mean you can place the logo on the left as well so so break some old rules to create some new so that's how you should you should treat presentations and try new things don't go by the template so here you just need to place some text and you can add any text you want based on your requirement requirements like uh, some bullet points some facts some stats percentages or anything you want to write even one word like only heading you can also write that so you're completely free to use so let's write the title of the slide here business infographic at the top left you can write it at the center as well on the right bottom left so you can experiment so that's what i that, so that's all i want to say that you can try experiment so here is the final result look at this beautiful infographic design and i have put some animation in it but you can try it i haven't covered that in this video so i hope you like this design so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like and share and enjoy